Hey folks, welcome back to Whiskey Review Time. On today's episode, we have a King of Kentucky 2020, aged 14 years old. It's a Brown and Foreman product in its barrel number nine. This is barrel strength, and this stuff is awesome. I have two barrels from 2019, so I know this stuff is great. However, today we're going to do a review for 2020s release so anyways guys make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe so next time you see a video come out you get notified bam let's see what she's all about yeah Got a nice pull tab here oh there she goes man Let's not do that. Yeah, she's off. She's disconnected. Man, wax did not tear very well. Oh, baby. If you haven't had King of Kentucky, definitely do it. Do yourself a favor. Drink it once in your life. This, they started with this back in 2018. It was a 14 year old bourbon. Then they did 19, which was a 15 year old. There might have been one or two barrels that were 14, I'm not sure. Um, however, this year, this is a 14 year old. At least this one is. There might have been a couple 15 year olds released this year, not sure. Haven't got a chance to try all the different barrels. I have tried barrel 19, and I'll talk about that in another review. However, today we are reviewing barrel number nine. Let's get to it. Sure, she's fresh cracked, just opened. And let's get down to business. You know how we do it up in this house. We open our bottles. We drink our shit. Anyways, cheers. God, my nose is wild. You know what? I'm going to leave the top off so it gets a little air. First off, it is a beautiful color. Look at that. Beautiful copper color. Oh, and she's vicious. You can just see the legs just starting on her. Give her a second. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. That nose, oh, it is so robust. It's very, what do we got here? Okay, gonna name some silly crazy things, but that's what I'm getting on my nose. Not hyping it, just telling you what I get. All right. I get like blueberry muffin, like, okay, you're in a bakery, blueberry muffin, right? You got someone melting butter and brown sugar with a little bit of caramel in a pan on the stove. That's what, that's what I'm smelling. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely be beautiful nose. Beautiful nose. Man, this is absolutely awesome, awesome bourbon. No line here. I'm a Brown and Foreman uh, fan in general. Love Bottled and Bond, Old Forester, 100 Proof. Uh, I love their rye, their 100 Proof rye. Killer stuff. I mean, for a standard product, it's great. This is released once a year, and this is a stellar product. I know, she loves to be in those videos. She's like, I'm gonna be a star too. She's like, you're gonna be my cat dad. You're gonna, I'm gonna be a star. Anyways, man, this, I'll put this up there. This is getting a high rating. I can, I can just tell you it's gonna get a high rating. I've taken one sip, noticed it several times. I, I gotta finish on my tongue. That's lasting for days. This is stupid good. Stupid good. Mmm. Golly. 
for 133 proof. This is just crazy good. It's not astringent at all. Okay, by astringent, I mean on this pick, this 2019, this pick is awesome. This pick is astringent. Both great picks. However, one is significantly better than the other. This is a freaking killer pick. Like hands down, no lie, fresh crack. That's what we do. Uh, this is awesome. Man, to even talk about this palette. There's so much going on. There's so much going on in this bourbon. Okay. Let's talk about the price first First off. First off, this is released once a year and it's about a $300 price tag. I paid more than that. I paid $800 for this. Oh man, Spencer, you're okay. I know what I'm getting, okay? This is released once a year. I didn't get one. I have the funds. I knew what I was buying. Is this $800 good? Absolutely it is. Is it 300 retail if you get it? Pfft, all day, buy a bunch of them. Not even kidding. But I mean, seriously, like, I don't mind it is what it is. If you have the money, that's cool. If not, then freaking don't do it. Or trade, trade up. People open their Van Winkles or whatever. Trade your Van Winkles for this. I, I would all day. Man, a, you, hell, you could get use a lot B and trade plus like 150 bucks and get one of these. I drink this all day over a lot B. I'm just saying it is what it is. Don't get me wrong. Lot B is a good product. Just not this. It's not this good by a long shot. rich super rich um this is like a dessert pour it's sweet it's rich does not drink at 133 at all um a lot of rich toffee some cher rich cherry and tobacco just they're weaving in and out of each other like the flavor one they're hitting on my tongue cherry flavor ch cherry toffee caramel, chocolate, like all these, and they're just weaving in and out, like bing, 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 going off on my tongue. It's, it's craziness. This is a stellar bourbon. This is what bourbon is meant to be. Absolutely. There are a lot of great bourbons out there on the shelf, okay? With that being said, there's nothing on the shelf that's like this. So you get the chance to get one at retail, absolutely do it. I bought both of these at retail, these other two that I have. Um, this one, I didn't meet the cut this year, so paid secondary, it is what it is. 800 bucks, they're going for like a, over a thousand, so I feel like I got somewhat of a good deal. Um, I'm okay with that, plus I helped out a buddy. He helped me out, really. Man, that finish, rich tobacco baking spices like powdered sugar, cinnamon on that back end. Mm, you get a little bit of that oak. It's 14 years old. You're going to get a little oak, but it is absolutely stellar. Now let's talk about oak. This is a 15 year bourbon, 14 year bourbon, 107 proof, Pappy Van Winkle, super hyped. Uh, this is a 14 year product, Brown and Foreman. This is a Buffalo Trace. Uh, this smokes, I mean, if I put these side by side, it wouldn't even be a contest. Do I like Pappy 15? Absolutely. I love the profile. It is, is it $1,600 good on secondary? Absolutely not. Is it 2011 $1,600 good? Pappy, Pappy 15, 2011? Absolutely it is. But we're not talking about that today. I'm trying to make a point here. This is a 14 year old bourbon barrel strength for 800 bucks. If you're scoffing at me, and thinking I'm nuts, I'm crazy, I'm ludicrous. Uh, I don't think so at all. I think you're crazy. If you can spend the money, do it. If you can't, I totally get it. And I'm not knocking you guys. If you can get it at a bar and try it, it's definitely one of those you should try once in your life bourbons. This is a phenomenal bourbon all the way around. Um, it's definitely getting a high score. Man, this is... Mm. Fan freaking tastic. This is barreled in 2006. Check that out. Think about that. What were you doing in 2006? I had just graduated high school. I, uh, at this point, I had my own apartment. Kind of doing my own thing. Lollygagging. Didn't really do much at that point in my life. But I did join the Navy afterwards. And now... I'm here, so I'm glad I did all that. 
Anyways, what were you doing in 2006? I don't know. That's when this was barreled. So, cheers. Uh, let's do a review. What do we got? What do we got? We're going to do the score. Zero to ten. No rookie scores. You know how we do it. All right. This is up there for sure, guys. I'm between two right now. I'm going to give this a 9-1. This is a 9-1. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to do a 9-1. It is what it is. You guys get the chance to try this. Do it. Do yourself a favor. Yes. Do each barrel. Does each barrel uh, a little different than the other? Like some, like like I said, this one's a little bit more stringent than this one. But like there, this is still a crazy good bourbon. Like I, if I had to rate this one, this is 18 or 19, excuse me. And I would rate this like an 8.5. Definitely not a 9-1. This is a 9-1 for sure. Uh, the, the astringency and the oakiness of that one plays a role in my personal opinion, my professional opinion as well. Um, do yourself a favor, open them. That's what the, they were designed at men to be drank. Open it with good friends. I plan on, okay. I'll end up sharing this with a bunch of friends, excuse me, family members. Um, that's what this stuff's meant to be. You know, it's cool if you keep it on your shelf. I don't keep shit on my shelf that's not open, okay? I think it's meant to be drank. Ask most people that's come over to my house. I share everything with them. It's meant to be shared. It's meant to be enjoyed. And those conversations and those friends, you, friendships you make uh, and meeting people through the bourbon community all around the country and over the world, um, it's worth opening a bottle like this and having that, the conversation that ensues behind the bottle. Yeah, that's cool. Whatever. $800 bourbon, blah, blah, blah. But the friendships you make, like the friend I bought this off of, one of the awesome guy, great guy, salt of the earth, guy's name is Sam. Dude, I love this guy, went out to lunch with him, had an awesome freaking burger, uh, met his kids, N nice guy, salt of the earth, couldn't, couldn't, you know, couldn't be nicer. So anyways, uh, cheers guys, thanks again for watching, enjoy, see you next time on Whiskey Review Time.